All right, welcome. Sorry. <laughs> All right, welcome. Good to see you. In this video, we'll talk about which entity is right for your business. Let's go. All right, before we begin with this video, I just wanna let you know something really exciting. This video is actually extracted from a course that is completely free of charge on thrivecourses.com, and you can actually check out the link in the description. I'm gonna take you straight to the course. It's, again, free, and it's basically created for people who want to start a business, and they need to know what exactly they need to do step-by-step step in order to set themselves up for success. So instead of random videos throughout YouTube, try to figure out everything, I'm gonna walk you through through step by step in this course. So if that sparks your interest, go check it out. It's completely free of charge. It's, if not, stay right here and let's go. Or you can go and check out the course after we're done with this video. So let's begin. All right, in this lesson, we'll talk about which entity is right for your business. So let's get started. The first thing I would say, the biggest mistake entrepreneurs make is running their business as sole proprietors. It is the biggest mistake people make because what happens, people, you know, just start a business, they start buying supplies and buying domains and doing all sorts of things under just their name. You do not want to run your business as a sole proprietor. Why? Well, you probably already know this, but because of taxes, because you cannot expense a lot of things as a sole proprietor. There's just not as many tax benefits. Second reason, you are not protected. So if something happens, let's say you run a business or maybe you rented a little office, somebody comes in, trips and hurts themselves, they literally can go after you and everything that you own in that lawsuit. So if you have an entity, if you have a business, and actually, by the way, we're gonna attach a comparison sheet to all the options you have, all the entities that you could choose. There's S-Corp, there's a C-Corp, there's a partnership. So you can see all the options that you have and decide which one is right for you, but I am a big fan that I always suggest is S-Corp. S-Corp is powerful because you're incredible tax benefits if you are a small business owner that pays yourself salary because when you pay yourself salary, you pay self-employment taxes just on that salary, not on your profit. So I am a big fan of S-Corp. That's my company formed as S-Corp. We enjoy a lot of benefits. You have to do your own due diligence. You have to do your own research. Talk to your accountant, talk to your lawyer, decide what is right for you. And also I'm gonna make some suggestions where you can incorporate your business. That's another video. But right now, you just need to know this. Number one, do not run your business as a sole proprietor. Number two, look at all the entities and compare pros and cons. Some of them are more expensive to run, more comp complicated to run, but also as you grow, as you make more money, you will enjoy more tax benefits. So take a look at that, that attachment and compare all of them. But if I have to choose one for you, Again, I'm not a legal advisor, I'm not a lawyer. I would choose for you S Corporation, especially if you make $30,000 or more. S Corporation, it will save you a lot of money on taxes. So that summarizes, you know, which entity is right for you. I cannot answer that question, but I want to be aware. Number one, I already said this like three times, you don't wanna be a sole proprietor, and I keep repeating because that's so important. Most likely, if you're watching this uh, this video, there's a chance, 90% chance that you are a sole proprietor and you need to find an entity that brings you the most tax benefits and brings the most protection to you, to your business, and your family. All right, that's all for this video. It's pretty short and sweet. I like to keep these videos to the point, give you exactly what you need, no more, no less. But the biggest thing is you have to take action. So now what I'd like you to do, check out that link in, in the description look at pros and cons for all every entity out there and decide which entity is right for you. You can't go wrong with, with most of them as long as you're not sole proprietor as we talked like 50 times about it. So go take action and let me know in the comments which entity you're gonna go with. I'm just curious and why. So would love to hear that. If you have any questions, please comment below as well. And the last thing I would say is this. You know that I bring as much value as I can here on YouTube. Just by watching these YouTube videos, on our channel, I know your business is in a better place. But we do have a platform, thrivecourses.com, that I'm the founder of that company, where we actually bring you very organized from different experts, step-by-step -step process, all about how to start and scale your business. So if that sparks your interest, click that link, sign up, become a member, and I cannot wait 
to help you take your business to the next level. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. That's all for now, and I'll see you in the next one.